really love your work. Mm-hmm. You know, compensation is just a consolation for me. I mean, you get paid for what you enjoy doing. It's like being an NBA star. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everyone, and welcome back again to another Zoom Mustahan with Cyberbackers. Again, my name is Cyberbacker Cami, and for today, we'll be having one of our Cyberbackers, Clarence, who share his story and his journey with Cyberbacker. Hi, Clarence. Hi, uh, Camille, and uh, hello, everyone. Good morning <laughs> or evening. Good Our morning, time. good evening, anytime. <laughs> okay, anytime, yeah. any time zones. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone. So, we are so excited to know more about you, brother Clarence. And first, let me start with before you became a cyberbacker. What is your job? I can say that I was a uh, BPO, but you know, before really starting a cyberbacker, I started my first uh, home-based job, but it did not last long. It was only for two months. Uh, they like cut some of their employees, and I was uh, luckily I can say because if they did not cut me, I will not be a cyberbacker. So I will take that as a blessing in disguise. So yeah, I was a BPO for maybe four or five years. That's in the offices, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. corporate. Corporate. Yeah. Okay. Now, have you had an online job prior to joining Cyberbacker? Yeah, the one uh, I mentioned. Sorry, uh, the one I mentioned. Uh, it was only for two months. I oh, was, that's the that's your online job. Okay. Yeah, that was my first online job before mm-hmm. Cyberbacker. I see. Well, that's interesting. Now, yes. um, how long have you been working as a Cyberbacker? Well, I'm proud to say that I've been working oh. for 34 months now. And I have been only working for a single client, which I'm not. I'm, I'm sure, like we are not allowed to do, disclose any names. But yeah, I've been working for one client for 34 months now. 34 months. Congratulations! Congratulations! That's long. And how was your experience so far? With Cyberbacker or with my client? Oh, but oh, Cyberbacker. Okay, I mean. maybe we can insert some <laughs> experience that you have with your client, of course. Yeah, Cyberbacker. I mean, this has really been a great run so far because you know your colleagues are like family to you mm-hmm. and the uh, working environment is very friendly i can say that you don't need to hold anything back or you don't need to you know keep any secrets that will give the company a wrong impression because there's nothing not to like you know in <laughs> back, right? I mean, yeah that's basically what's not to like What's not to like? That's that's a word from Clarence. What's not to like about Cyberbacker? And we are so public. We're so open with yeah. whatever's happening with us. Like Craig, he's doing Facebook Live and <laughs> he yeah. shares his thoughts and everything. And some of the Cyberbackers have channels as well. And they were able to share their stories as well. And for yeah. today, we'll be sharing more of our stories with you. That's why we have this kind of Zoom stand with Cyberbackers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and um, another question is, being with the company for 34 months, how can you describe the relationship that we have with our leaders? One thing that I have learned really working for Cyberbacker and specifically my client is that mm-hmm. we have to be accountable for our actions, our, our work. And then our actions will reflect how we work and what we work for our client. And then that brings... Uh, I don't want to really say the word lure, but let's say entice other applicants that, you know, being a cyberbacker is an awesome job. I can really say that without holding anything back because there are times that, you know, you say something just for the sake of saying it. Yeah. But for me, I can really say that, you know, cyberbacker is It comes from the heart. Yes. (laughs) Okay. It comes from the heart. And of course, um, there's one thing, one more thing to add and really love your work Mm -hmm. you know compensation is just a consolation for me i mean you get paid for what you enjoy doing like being an nba star (laughs) (laughs) it is you're part of the nba agree agree yeah if you get paid of what you enjoy doing yeah it feels like you're not working at all right exactly yeah (laughs) okay and well being in the company for 34 months now of course, a lot of people would like to consider as well those who are planning to work from home. Mm-hmm. Of course, security and of course, salary. So, 
without saying the exact figures because I know we're not allowed to say it for confidentiality, but how can you describe the income that you are receiving with Cyberbacker? Wow. Well, I can just say that there are things that I have bought or even taken care of that I would not even have thought that I am able to do if I'm not a Cyberbacker. I mean, financial stability that's basically what cyberbacker can provide you of course as long as what i mentioned earlier that you, you you love your work then whatever financial or anything financial that comes after that for me is a consolation and of course you're you should enjoy it too I mean. mm-hmm. yes and every efforts are well compensated and Indeed. coming from clarence income and cyberbacker equals to financial stability <laughs> so yes. Agree. That's it. So I'm so sorry. As much as we want to provide you the exact amount, we are not allowed. But coming from what Clarence said, it's up to you to imagine how much he's earning every month. Yeah. <laughs> imagine stuff that you were just, you know, thinking back then that you you, you can buy but you can't. And then right now, <laughs> you have it on and, your side. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Can just say bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. And also, I know that every week we're having this quantum scales with Craig where mm-hmm. it helps us not just to grow as um, as part of the cyberbacker, but of course to help us on our specific life goals, especially when it comes to financial um, stability. Uh, we learned a lot of ways and how we can improve ourselves and our finances. So since you were able to see Craig almost every day, every week, What do you like most about our cyber ammo? Well, Craig is a man. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I've never met anyone like him. I mean, you know, as a as a leader, as a CEO, I mean, me saying those words to him gives gives me goosebumps. That's just how real these words are. Me describing our leader, Craig. I've met him in person when he was, uh, you know, pre-COVID. <laughs> times yeah (laughs) and his aura is very welcoming like very approachable approachable and i know that he's just a very good and genuine person as an employee having a boss with attitudes like craig i mean Mm -hmm. who would want to leave (laughs) (laughs) who would want to leave so he having craig i mean he's a magnet of you know good people and Mm -hmm. i'm proud to say that I can be one of those, you know. <laughs> you, so are, are you. you are. So are you. Yeah. <laughs> you are. And, well, you mentioned his magnet for good people. Well, I guess that's why we have this kind of culture where everybody helps each other, where mm. everybody supports each other. And we were able to maintain it, right? So you've All been right. with the company for 34 months. Well, I as well. Ever since day one, it's the same culture that I have experienced. So that's something that you would love to have in a company, right? And that's what make you stay, of course. Of course. Okay. Now I got one last question for you, brother. One more. One more and <laughs> okay, one last I'm just question. <laughs> This is very simple. Um, what would be your advice for those who are planning to work from home and who's eyeing for cyberbacker but still? a bit hesitant to do it well basically if you are new to this type of industry you have to be open to you know risk and um, if needed you have to think outside the box because this is not like a typical cubicle or like a four-walled office that you have that I mean like it's a typical routine but when you are a cyberbacker especially when you were you when you're working for a client mm-hmm. the possibilities of doing tasks are limitless so to say because you know you do this one thing let's say yesterday and then tomorrow it's a totally different uh, job for you which also helps or improves your way of thinking like it makes you grow not just as a professional but even as a person too because you know if you are able to get that job if you're able to get a job done by your client i mean mm-hmm. it's like, like an achievement right it's like, yeah um, it's like an achievement for you that you know you were able to please your client and i don't see an end to uh, this career as long as our services are needed basically 
Wow. So, based on what you've said, it means that you are not just growing personally, but you you also gain the confidence that whatever you face, whatever task that you have, whatever challenges you may face in the career that you have, you will overcome it and you will be successful at the end of the day. So, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Clarence, for joining us today. And... So that's it for our Zoom Mustahan session with our cyberbackers. And feel free to comment below if you have questions that you would like to ask cyberbackers and of course Cyber Ammo Craig. And thank you, thank you again, guys. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our Cyberbacker YouTube channel. Thanks. See you on our next interview. All right. <laughs> like it, Bill. Bye. Bye, Clarence.